Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Orfish here. Welcome to hopefully, I mean, I'm not hopefully, likely the last episode of this playthrough, though I'm not sure how much time I will need to navigate the Arctic Spires, but that is all that is left uh, for this playthrough. And as I remember, I've gathered everything I need to go over there. Yeah, that's... Everything is prepared. And after I've completed the playthrough, uh, I can finally start uh, doing my base building series. So this is the... Yeah, I'm not gonna take brown suit over there. Wow, what a fail. Come on. Am I going to destroy this module? Or do I need to connect to the other side? Yeah, I need to connect to the other side. Yeah, I nearly destroyed it. Both of them. It's so fragile. like it isn't plasteel. Maybe we need some addition, additional material to make it tougher. A dementium. Maybe, I don't know, uranium. Something. Insert your favorite fictional material here. So, hopefully I'll find my way into the Arctic Spires fast enough. I know it's over the bridge, but... No, this one... Christ, this thing cannot stop as long as the afterburner is turned on. Good to know. Let's bring all the food, water, supplies. Oh look, I have... Oh no, I brought those here for who knows what reason. To supplement this base. I guess I'll need this, this, this. I won't need my diving equipment, I think. if I need a spy pangling with me but I'll take it for just in case so mm, let's unload this this and this Here. I'll take enough water with me. I might as well eat one of these. Oh no, I'll eat this bar now. Mm. And I'll have some marble melons too. <coughs> See, one trash can here could be useful, but I'll leave that for another time. I mean, I'll eventually expand this base or relocate it somewhere where it's a good view to make it one of my 
um, one of my land best based bases but there are more interesting spots in there I guess so this is I guess everything I need I don't need this and I don't need this yeah I need ah. to complete this expedition now there is another snow fox module that can be created I think the one which reduces the damage but I haven't found it or is it even there that's not important now no how can I access the upgrades That's it. That's the jump. Alright. Thanks for nothing. Let's go. If you have some momentum, you can jump with greater effect, I guess. <laughs> and it's night time. I mean, it's approaching night time. Let's see where this leads. Let's save first, because I'm about to encounter the ice worms. Which doesn't sound too good. Yeah, it's here. Do I really need to be here during the night? So I guess they are putting bit of jump scare I mean they have put a bit of jump scares before us to get us used to the beast itself the death vent just lift me up in the air it had he did another PDA Okay, I was supposed to be here a long time ago, I guess since I already had that, um, whatever th that recipe was. And there is nothing more here. Now let's see about that. Thumper upgrades. The finalized thumpers are pretty useful. The original versions were pretty bad, but this gives us almost double the time to explore some of the mineral rich nodes. Vibrations of the ice worm sometimes knock loose some pretty valuable stuff if you take the time to search for it. Okay, so I already have the thumper, I guess that final version. 
but this thing is only to let me know that there is a way to combat the ice worms diamond wall okay so this thing is full of rich I mean it's rich with materials this place and I bet there are more of them out there so let's resume our path oh no I'm coming back This is going back. You know, I can't really orient, orient myself where well enough here. Let's see. Now you're accessing the upgrades when I don't need that. Good. Where does this lead? Why do I keep getting knocked off the snow fox? Um, okay, so I guess I'm in a good spot. So I automatically get knocked off this thing when the ice worm approaches. Another site found, but I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. Not bored. Let's pick this up. And let's use this. Architect artifact. New technology acquired. Sea truck, what? Teleportation module to where? Tether to wall. I should have been here much sooner. The truck model that provides teleportation destination pairing with a tether to oh my god so I can create a tether to whatever that is so it's a, like a recall beacon I mean, the sea truck becomes the recall beacon, and I can recall myself to that area. And it says nearby, it doesn't say how near I have to be. If it's a full 
map distance then it's straight outright cheat but it doesn't seem like a strange thing to find in this game so okay so I have found a cache but it's not I guess the one that contains the Alan's parts. Now, you may be wondering why am I walking? It's easier to look around when you're not speeding your way through. Wow! That hurt. It can jump, it can fly, it can wow. I think this is not gonna be nearly... Oh no, I wasted two of those. I mean, I wasted one of those. This is not going to be nearly enough. Medical kits to complete this run. I'm gonna die somewhere. How do I even get away from this? dangerous it's risky it pumps your adrenaline and I kind of like it do I don't know if it's possible to create an observatory because the creature is constantly disappearing and reappearing not sure if there's any way I mean, any spot on which it is permanent. Um, whatever. I guess the worm is gonna jump on me the moment I leave this cave in that direction. Now let's see, these ladders have to lead somewhere. Yes, they have to lead somewhere. Okay, so this thing is working. And we'll see where we will end up going. But first, let us explore around a bit. bumped up. I don't need more health loss at this point. Ooh, the elevator. Oh, 
I like when I find a familiar stuff here, so I don't have to wonder what they do. This I definitely down no, the battery. I really do not need. I'm now in the stage of using ion batteries, so I guess I take one of these right away. And more water. Can I pick a snow here? No. You can't pick up the indoor snow. Now this dock has to lead somewhere. And this time I brought a sea glide with me, so... I feel smart. Now, I'm not sure if this leads to Glacial Basin or it leads to where exactly it needs to lead me. Lead me to. Um, this corridor looks awfully long. Tell me if I know where I am at the moment. Yeah, laser cut. See, I was thinking if I should bring a laser with me. And it was a good thing to do. Now that battery back there makes sense. Because this thing wastes a lot of battery. In this game, I don't remember it didn't eat away that much ba battery in Subnautica. Okay, so I need to push it. Wow, the physics. No! Look at where I... where I've come. Okay, so again, following the cable leads you exactly where you should be now if I had a... Oh, okay, I will find my way here, of course, if I need to. So there is an access directly into the... I guess somewhere center of the Arctic Spires, through this tunnel, which skips much of the Ice Worm engagements good to know so the first rule is Subnautica go as deep as you can the sooner you can the second rule of Subnautica go as far away from the spawn point as soon as you can and the third rule of Subnautica follow the cables See, I could have taken the snow. No, I don't need this much. Oh, these things are first to go. Should I need a space? Now, let's see what, where that phase gate leads. I mean, there's only one place it can lead to. The Pi Robotics. That is the only place where I have found the gate. Other than this. So in case I can't come back, I'm gonna save here.
Yep, I'm back at Pyrobotics. All right. I guess I can take some of the snow now and create this water thingies. Wow, it creates a filter of water. This is just cheating. Straight out cheating. Now, I've seen that you should be able to pick up this poster. Yeah, and I've missed it. When I was browsing through the collectible stuff uh, on the wiki and it's a good thing that I got back here but I still haven't found my objective which is Alan parts also there may be some other stuff tech stuff out here so like let's, let's get back to our cave now I'm not sure where to go from here but I'll That thing is constantly stalking me. I don't know if it, the, the events are ran, random or they are scripted. Oh no no no. Maybe a bit of both. But I can't seem to... I mean, I've, I've come from that direction, so that I should push this way or this way. Now, I guess it makes sense to do either of those. No! It's a clue to anything. Now this won't help. It knocks me straight out of the ice form each time. Been there. 
Yeah. That, yeah, I should go. This way. It looks nice though. Now again I have two choices here. There is one more green thing over there. Why did I why did architects have to choose this place to store their tech? Is it the same cable that I saw? I'm not gonna go down there. But... Oh, the pangling area. Let's see what the little guy can find. The ion cubes. How convenient. Now this is the penguin spot word of actually wasting your time on. I mean using your time on this is hardly a waste of time, but there's always few quartz and some other material. Now this material I will very much welcome. To my disposal. God help me if I know where to go. This, this looks like a nice direction. Now, please let the ice worm eat the stalker and leave me alone. Oh no, they're friends. They're conspiring against me. Get away from me, you beast. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> now, it would be nice if I had a... Um, I mean, this thing requires its separate storage base. Here, for example, and a prone suit bay, I guess. I mean... Something to which you can park the process, but this tunnel goes, I think, even further. The 
it does lead somewhere. It's a good thing to know that eventually you can have an infinite supply of iron cubes, though I really don't need that much. That many. Where does this go? Is it the same penguin spot? Yes, it is. So... Or this now let's see what's inside of this cave my scouting is so random. Let's see if we can make it less random. But I haven't found a map to this place, though. Though... This map... To some degree illustrates this so I guess I'm somewhere here now because I can see these spikes so I'm at in the furthest spot inside the arctic spires in which I can be though this cable looks awfully familiar and I'd obviously come back I mean, I came back. jump over there okay this is a spectacular show doesn't hurt you. Now I'm gonna try and do this. It worked. I like this creature. So Apparently it is attacking the ground level. And I am definitely here. Maybe not. No, I'm still not the right spot. Leave me. I want to live. Maybe I was meant to traverse this by foot. I 
And now I have another thing to worry about. Too bad, too bad he doesn't have much of an AI to track me down. that I have been and before this is the direction which hasn't been yet explored I think yeah definitely I haven't been here also follow the cables Could somehow get all up there. I have been here. But not in this play, I mean, not in this iteration. I've been here during that one time when my sound failed and I had to scrap the video. And this is as far as I've got but from other direction, I guess I came here from, yeah, I came here from this direction. And yeah, so this leads back to the glacial basin in some way. Now I entered this area. Okay, let's see where this thing, this tunnel leads. It's a maze. stay here is it maybe safer up here and now I don't know where I am again but since that event is that well scripted oh I know where I am I guess I should be here
this is definitely not gonna be the last episode. I spend way too much time here. What? Kind of. Okay, I'm gonna need to rely heavily on the compass. Cutting through these rocks and there's no like a butter. So, to the east of my position, is the water. And if I go straight up north, so, considering I might be here somewhere, because that's a connection with the glacial basin. So, with these three pointy rocky spires, I might as well be somewhere here. And I guess somewhere over there, or even here, there are some... There is some important stuff, so if I keep my water beacons to the east of my position I should go always north or northwest in order to reach my destination at least until I'm sure that I've actually accessed this area which has the most of these spires around some flare so this is the area with 
many rocky spires, I guess. No, I'm, I've crossed this valley and I'm somewhere here. Here, I think. Now, I will follow this wall all the way around this valley and I will eventually get back to where I need to be or to where I haven't been before This is also not going north. I guess I completed a full circle. in here Not sure though if he meant this direction or that direction over there, but apparently follow the cables rule still applies here. Wow. Awesome. Seeing it dive around like that. Okay, now I am... So it's scripted. Now I am 
definitely here. Now let's see if this tunnel is a safe way through this area. Well, it's a safe way some to somewhere. supposed to go this way or that way so it's the same area just two different access points and there is another cable Here's the egg. Here's another egg. Try well. bringing me back to this stalker area. So, let's try 
assessing, uh, I mean, assessing our location. Mm. There's this canyon, yeah. I now am, I think, here. If not before, now I am. Exactly there. So around this canyon should be the most advanced things that I can find. Not sure where though. Perhaps down here. This is I think the tunnel through which I swarm dug before. And it's still only resources here. Copper. More copper. Even more copper. What is this? Silver. Copper. Wow. I mean, how can I... Though, now that I think of... I don't think brown suit takes too much damage from the ice worm. Since it, if an, even I take less damage from the ice worm then I would take for example from the um, Shadow Leviathan or Calicerate. So this thing bites less but it hits more often. Often. cables here should be a hint to something really 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 important <laughs> large emerald Architect component. Architect ah, tissue. That is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. <laughs> you have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. All right, so I have found the place. I hope we haven't missed anything, but let's see. Architect tissue, ladder-like tissue sample of alien origin, DNA marker syndicate complex mixture, synthesized form over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates advanced biocomposites, resulting in unique mechanical properties, compression is compression well, lol. Compression, extremely high compressive strength, protects against external forces. Yeah, it really protected that architect over there, which was crushed. And it may indicate adaptation to extreme environments, high resistance to damage from high energy impacts, elasticity, low modulus of elasticity allows tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion. Now, let's see the geological data, large emerald. Pure emerald is typically col colorless. These large crystals contain trace amount of chromium, leading to development of distinct green col color. Have you ever seen emerald which is not green? Now I may ask you. 
mining activity near these crystals suggests that they are valuable for their applications in architect technology. So they were mining body parts or the technology pieces. I think everything green related to their technology actually originates from these green crystals. Now, should I ever need iron cubes? I'll come back here. Now, I'm gonna run out of battery on this thing. Is it even possible to replace it? Now, that's a great question. Or will I need to run... I think I have found the two most important things here. The tribal eggs. Okay, now this thing I even recognize from the map. This rise here, there it is. I now know exactly where I am. Okay, this is an ice worm. Yeah. Dead ice worm. It's a graveyard of ice worms. It's horrific to imagine that there are more of so I can scan the real, I mean the live one. Both of them are very real, but I can scan the dead one. I wonder if these bones all originate from this single dead ice worm or not. We'll read about, I mean, why not read about it now? Hey, 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 stop shaking, I can't read. Extremely large, dangerous leviathan, roughly, roughly 55 meters long with thick plated exoskeleton that bur burrows through dense ice shells with minimal resistance. Plating, the ice worm is covered with a thick ex exoskeleton, backward facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create threads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows, similar to tire threads. The interior of the ice worm is covered in a thicker skin that doesn't require plating. Superheated thorn. The thorn of the ice worm is thick as part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkali metals that react violently with water, creating exothermic chemical reactions perhaps a sodium or something. As the ice worm burrows, more microscopic grooves continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. Behaviors. The ice worm is ambush predator. It relies on sound traveling through the ice to alert it to potential prey, and then launches through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can be temporarily distracted through the use of sonic devices aggressive and lethal avoid so it's still not as dangerous as dangerously classified as shadow leviathan is but you yeah now now what
I use the battery for creating this thing. It should be able... I mean, I should be able to replace the battery somehow. Though I can only access upgrades here. And this looks like a battery. Uh, battery access point, but no. I can't replace the battery. And now I'm really doomed. to death. Now, if it turns out that I could have replaced this battery, I'm gonna kill myself. And in that case, I apologize to you in advance for making this trip longer than it should have been. But I'm not really sure that that is the case. So there is another cave here. No, this is a passageway. Maybe, maybe I now am here. I definitely should be here, especially if to the left of me are the watery thingies. This is that small valley. Oh, I have enough salads to keep me warm. to endure this kind of punishment for long. Okay, I'm slowly starting to freeze. Even with this advanced suit, so... I do have peppers too. Now, since I've discovered the alien fabricator down there in the crystal caverns, I... I'm not sure if the Alan should have given me coordinates. Oh yeah, I've been here. I'm not sure if the Alan should have given me coordinates to go to that place. Leave me alone, you violent creature. But I like it. Has anyone watched anything related to Dune series? This is like a sandworm and this thumper thing just so happens to fit in that storyline. Maybe I should have... Hmm. Maybe I should have actually used that architect. Yeah, why not? Why not use the... Uh, 
the cave to travel back to the glacial bay. It seemed like the safest route. If this is even... No, 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 that's a completely other cave. Oh. This is just a teleporter scan. Scanning place. is going back south should eventually lead me towards the glacial bay else I think this is the teleporter cave bye bye whoa how it hurt me how did it manage to reach me so should I go to pyrobotics no I mean this is even the faster way If I have missed anything important, I mean, tech stuff or something like that, please write it down in the comments. Also, thank you for the info on the medical kit, which can be crafted apparently using fabricator. Now I'm thinking, I w I'm too used to the old Subnautica, so it never occurred to me. And I tend to overthink stuff, and in this case, that's just what happened. Okay, goodbye Arctic Spires, at least for now. It would be cool if I could somehow build an observatory near that ice worm graveyard. some of the oh, of course I'm gonna leave this thing here it failed me greatly I really don't need welcome aboard captain yes our searches have been useful but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people the network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism. But it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the, the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily, 
felt something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Helen. Adding hope to your database. Um, hope is the first step on a road to disappointment. That's the best definition that I've found for that term. Now, since I have to go soon, <laughs> research hope. Let's see this before we close this up. Oh, it's a poem. Assessment, find, and maintain hope. I can't read this. No, I can't stop now. I mean, I can, but I need to engage the backwards drive for long enough. For it to slow down. Okay, this I will close for now. I'm gonna deposit the tribal egg. I'm gonna bring all the ion cubes. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. What do I need to craft the Allen? Root pustule, synthetic fibers, gel sac. Diamond plus steel ingot. Okay, there will be lots of preparation. Why haven't I... Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll leave this inside my cargo module. Here, two salads, one of these. That shall be good enough. Also, the penguin. I brought it back for a reason. I need to... Um, eventually, scout the other penguin areas around the crater. One is somewhere there. And another I have found at the um, Delta Station. Now let's see about this tribal. Here you go. I don't know if they're if they reproduce because if these are the only two eggs and they can reproduce. The only way to reproduce them is to hatch them both inside the same container. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great, what's next? Let's get you out of my head. Do you remember the fabrication facility? You must return there. Right, the fabrication facility. So you always planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. All of my people were not invited. So what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin. You have the components. Return to the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. That's pretty evasive of him. He was pretty straightforward 
guy up to this point. And now something changed. Okay, I've... So if... Um, if those are the only two tribal eggs, and they can reproduce, well, they... If I don't hatch the second one inside... I mean, there is additional space here for them to reproduce, so... They will fill up the remaining slots in this tank. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Right, uh, so I'm gonna close this up for now, and I'm gonna create the last episode tomorrow. Uh, if you like this episode, which I think you did, it was quite dynamic, but I'll let you decide. <laughs> uh, uh, um, like, uh, hit the like button down below, and if uh, you want to see more, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in my final episode tomorrow.